Hello, welcome back to Arena Run 3.0. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am joined with me uh, is my friend Sean. Hello there. He is a Hearthstone champion, the likes of which Trump and Crip have never faced. Uh, I don't know if I've ever faced them. I should try and strike, snipe Crip sometime. <laughs> All right. When I get a good enough deck. Here's our choices. All right. Okay. So I already had talked with Sean a little earlier, and uh, Garrosh, I'm sorry, but you're just not cut out for arena right now. Yeah. Um, Hunter's not too bad, um, but you usually have to um, draft a more aggressive deck last time. Uh, like, Hunter doesn't really have a lot of comeback mechanics in general. Rogue is pretty strong, uh, if you get the right cards. And just in general, mm. is pretty strong. So, if you want to go with Rogue, Rogue's a little bit harder to play, but also, uh, can be really, really good. If you want to go with Rogue this time, we can I will that. go with Rogue, also for the... Just because I have my... Now is my the time. Age. That works. That's a good start. Well, then. Uh, that's, uh... Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think I do. Um, the Boogie Monster isn't actually that garbage in Arena, but still, it's pretty weak. Yeah. Just because its stats aren't that great. Um, Harrison Jones is okay, but the problem with that is there's only a couple classes that have that weapons. Have weapon. Like, yeah. Rogue will have weapons, and you'll definitely get value against Rogue. But then, like, Paladin, Hunter, Warrior... Like, sometimes they'll have weapons, and sometimes they won't have any. And those yeah, aren't Shaman the most too. common. Like, Mage is the most common class, and then Rogue's, like, the second most common. Yeah. So, like, the the main... And usually against Rogue, like, you're just killing their dagger, which isn't really doing anything. I would probably mm. pick Auction Master Beardo. Okay. It's not really, like... The effect is basically useless, but it's a 3-mana three 3-4, three, which means it's, like, premium stats for a 3-drop. Okay. So, I'm down for that. Uh, Jade so Shuriken's good. The other two I, I just take it. So what is Jade? Okay. The other two aren't great. Um, Fire Plume Phoenix. Yeah, that's a pretty easy choice. That battle cry is naive. Yeah, it's a good card. All right. Uh, Blood Sail. Oh, I, I was yeah. Incorrect? I was thinking I was gonna choose the Stubborn Gastropod. It, like, another way of thinking about Stubborn Gastropod, just in general, is it's, like, it's a two-mana um, taunt with two health, and against heroes it only has one attack, but against minions it's, it's infinite yep. attack. So, uh, it can have a lot of value. Okay. It can just get removed, but it's it's just a very strong minion. Yeah. This is also pretty easy. I, I choose under hit. Under City Hucks too. Oh yeah, for the um, the random class card because almost always it's it, it's just a card. It's a benefit or a, a bone. A, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, this is another uh, easy choice. Razor. Yeah, ra Razor Petal. The Razor Petal card that it gives you it uh, one mana does one damage, I believe. Yep. Right? Um, Oops. you gotta uh, move your mouse away, otherwise it won't pick this up. It and before realize. you pick that immediately. Uh, this is actually a bit more of a complex choice than just choosing the Perdition's Blade. I think I would actually choose the Corrupted Seer, to be honest. Hmm. Um, it's pretty close, but because you already have, like, a couple, uh, two mana cards already, and you already have some, like, pretty decent, like, removal value with, uh, the Jade Shuriken, the Fire Plume Phoenix, and, um... You have the, like, one mana Razor Petal. Yeah. Uh, getting, like, another board clear from the Corrupted Seer is pretty good as well. And, I don't know, Perdition's Blade's good, but I think I would choose Corrupted Seer here. Okay. I'm down for that. This is an uh, easy choice. Yep. The Thespian. The Pompous Thespian. The other two are bad. This is also an easy choice. Or, oh. Yeah, I would choose Assassinate. Makes sense. Uh, this and is Venom, probably in right? Venom. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, uh, those are, like, right close together. It's pretty close. I would still choose in Venom here. Okay. Makes your weapon kill any... any. That's probably going to be Sap. 
Yeah. Interesting. Okay. It's gonna be sad. It has the most value. Uh, that's gonna be the red mana worm. Yeah. Ugh, yeah Shadow Stuff's bad. Spawn on his off is bad. Red mana, mana worm's okay. Okay. I don't know how many sap. I guess I got sap. The other that. two are just really bad. Yeah, just tricking. Like okay. if you buff it once, sure. it's good. Okay. Uh, you gotta you gotta keep moving. I know. Though, I so. keep. Uh, <laughs> Defender of Argus, or I don't have a Perdition's Blade. I I would take the Defender here. Okay. You have a good amount of minions already. Oh, you got another legendary. Hell yeah! Woo! Look at that. That's cool, yep. right? Yep. Because I got some some decent spells. Clearly, you want to choose that Ma is Mayor funny. Naughty Fog. Yes, he. I, I mean, just the the memes. It's honestly one of the worst cards you can pick in a in arena. The meme game is real. What? Wow! This is cool. That's actually yeah. I agree <laughs> with this here as well. Captain Greenskin is interesting in Rogue just because I already ha I can weapon you know any any time I want. But but at the same time, like you don't get care about the durability really. Uh, the one attack. attack is nice, but at the same time, you're already limited a certain amount of weapon attacks as ro you're not warrior. Like Captain Greenskin is good in warrior with a lot of weapons because you have uh, the armor up hero power to gain health. Like in Rogue, you want to use your weapon early on, and then after a certain point in the game, you just can't attack minions anymore with your weapon because you don't have enough health. Yeah. And Illidan Storm Rage is actually pretty good in Arena, just because if you have a lot of... I have like, a lot of lower, lower costing stuff. if you play that and your opponent can't deal with it, Oh yeah, and, and you play like so. two or three cards. Yep. You fill the entire board. It's almost like a mini like Anixia, and Anixia is ridiculous in Arena. So. Okay. Yeah, that's an easy choice. I would choose the Blood Sail Raider. Um. Uh, yeah, I would choose the Obsidian. Uh, Obsidian Shard. The other two are pretty bad. Avian, oh, it just makes it cost less. Okay. Yeah, Avian Watcher's not too bad, but its stats are still kind of weak. Like, you're never going to have secrets, uh, and Obsidian Shard's not that bad, and you don't have any other weapons yet, so... Okay. Frozen Crusher? Yeah. Yeah. Um, corrupted Healbot's an interesting just choice, I don't, but... It says it doesn't, I, I, has a, doesn't have a lot of synergy with our deck. I still suggest you pick it as it has the most value. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Oh, that's an easy. Um, if it's right. Yeah. Oh, I know. I thought if I move it just slightly, it'll do it. Yeah, that's an easy eviscerate. Eviscerate's so good. Um, oh, that's easy as well. What? Oh yeah. That card. That card's a must pick in arena. That's like uh, it's an uh, it's an assassinate essentially. It's, that's right. A, that's a disgusting card. Yeah. Because it does the same effect as assassinate. I mean, you gotta combo it, but. It does the same effect as assassinate, and you get a three four. Yep. That's an easy choice as well. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a much harder choice. I do not think I would choose by and Tide Hunter. I think, uh, the Hearth Arena is inflating that a bit too much. Okay, so then the uh, I don't think Venture Co? I don't think you have enough targets from the Menagerie Magician, so I would choose the Venture Co. You have way too many two drops already, and you're already rogue, yeah. where early on you're probably going to want to dagger up at least at one point. Uh, so, like, it, you just have way too many two drops already. Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I would choose that one. You don't have enough uh, Murlocs and Bitter Tide Hydras. I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> the the taunt's nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have any other... Well, no, I have like two that's, other taunts. That, um, that's an easy backstab. Oh, backstab, yeah. Um, Another in Venom? No. Real Peddler, if you're holding any non-rogue... Well, you only have, like, one possible target that the Ethereal Peddler will hit, but it's still, like, a slightly better Pit Lord, which is already, like, a good card. The question is whether you want a second in Venom weapon, and you don't have... You still don't have any heals. You do have 
two taunts, which is pretty good. And you've got some other removal. Uh, and you can almost guarantee to get like some pretty good value off that. It's also another spell for uh, Medivh. I think I would choose Envenom Weapon here. Although I think it's uh, a bit closer than uh, even like the tier list is saying. Okay. The yeah. other reason why I choose it is just because uh, it helps fill out your uh, man like your mana curve a little bit better. All right. Alright, yeah. Definitely do not oh. choose another Envenom weapon. That's yeah. an easy vicious fledgling. That's it's also good because you have a lot of removal so far, and if you can keep that alive, that can be a win condition. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the Weasel Tower! Yes! Um... Again, I don't have that many Murlocs. It's too bad, too, because... Like... If I did have a couple other Murlocs... I don't know nice. how good Patient Assassin is here. It is a, uh... What's I call it? It's a stubborn gastropod, but with stealth, right? More or less? Um... I mean, a better comparison would be, uh... Like, the... That uh, what's it called? The 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 wasp card. That's deals, three mana. Deals one. Oh no. Uh, thinking about the other one that it deals one damage to each player. It's. I just don't know if you'd want that or the gentle megasaur. Like you already have two. Like you have a stubborn gastropod and you have two uh, in venom weapons. Like that's another thing. Uh, like it's not bad. I guess you could take it, ultimately. Um, I guess that's fine. Let, let's let's go with what it's telling you to do. Alright. Alright, that's not too bad. Last three picks. Yeah. Frost on the moment is fine. Uh, <laughs> it's probably, yeah, it's probably going to tell you to take Deadly Poison. It's too bad uh, I didn't get any freaking weapons in this whole run. No, you got Obsidian Shard. Oh, that's true. And you have your, uh, your yeah. I would take lighting. I would take deadly poison here. Okay. Yeah, I mean I only have one other thing that goes with Jade Golem, so. And then... Last pick. Uh, that's not bite, great. Please. Hold on. Um, let's see how many battle crabs you have first. Bite weed's awful. Um, I would pick the. Blubber Baron over the Bite Weed. It's probably going to be Fell Orc, but let's see what you have for Battle Cries. I don't think you have enough. You got like. Let me see. You got Blood Sail Raider. You got Razor Petal. Um, you got. The Cyclopean Horror Defender, Fire Plume. Uh, it's, cor are corrupted. Too, right? No, they're not. Uh, Frost ele Elemental. Yeah, that's not enough. You gotta take the Fell Orc. Okay. Alright, that's a uh, decent enough deck. I wonder what it'll rate it as. Falling asleep there. Uh, Getting tired. Oh, uh, uh, it's 73.7. Yeah. That's, uh, not that too bad. That means instant wins. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty, uh, that's a pretty good deck. Alright. All right. With all the legendaries combined, the are you ready for this? Yeah, if the three legendaries, none of them are crazy strong. Um, Illidan will win it, win it for us with Medivh. I can feel it. I would say uh, if we don't get too many like aggressive mage or hunter decks, then this deck could, eh, could get the... the eh, I can't speak. <laughs> this deck could get to 12 wins. But the fear that I have is we have no healing in this deck at all. Wow. Uh, so if we get like a hunter that uh, and like we go second or something and we just run out of health, what do you then know? we can just lose. We got None a can escape my fury. Well, we're, like we are going first, and if they don't get an explosive opener, we'd probably be fine. Uh, so I don't need these two. Yeah, I would keep. And I would keep the top. I will keep it. This isn't bad. What would be the worst setup scenario that he gets? Like, one drop, two drop, like... Um, Alley Cat on turn one would be annoying. Um, and then, like, adapt something? Adapt if you have... Basically, Alley Cat into, like, the little adapt dude to adapt his Alley Cat. Is, like, the worst thing to deal with against that the That we hunter. can see right now. Coming at us. Right now. Okay, good. 
<laughs> Which of those do you want to play? Um, I kind of want to save the two poisonous guys just for later, just for. No, nah, I'd probably put one of them down now. Um, gastropod then. Nah, I'm pro well, I'd probably put the little uh, stealth dude down. You don't need to like you're not playing against I mage, so you don't need to worry about like uh, mage like destroying you with their uh, AOE or like just random removal. So I'd probably put the um, the patient assassin down. Go ahead. It'll, now, it also that'll really... force him to force something. <laughs> yeah, it, like, really discourages him from playing any, like, big minions, too, which is kind of good. And if he plays a lot of little minions, then we can do the Cyclopean Horror and oh, uh, that's get a lot of health. True. I forgot I had that. I wonder. And, like, if he just, he, like, if he plays, yeah. Um, so he played a secret here. You do not want to attack his face with that, just in case it's explosive. Yep. Um, you got two options here. You could either dagger up. Or I think I would probably play the thespian. The thespian. I I would save the the snail. All right. Um, and just. But if it is flames. I, d d don't attack. Like obviously, just just play the minion. Mm -hmm. play the like he does have to play stuff eventually. Yep. And hopefully we won't keep drawing stuff that have two health just in case that is explosive trap. Exactly. Or he plays a bunch of things so I could... Yeah. Cyclopean. Cyclopean? Cyclopean? Like, I mean, the worst is if that secret's explosive mm -hmm. trap right now. Oh, Ooh. that's also pretty bad. Oh, well, there's the coin. It's not the end of the world or anything. Yeah. So there's the crackling razor mode. You can, uh... You can backstab that. Uh, backstab trade? I think... Dagger trade? Well, you don't need to trade. I, I would actually oh, dagger... I would dagger his face here just to test for traps. Yep. But bef Yeah, actually not even before. Uh, no, I, 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 would, I wouldn't for backstab trailer. first. Uh, you don't even need to. I, I, I would I would attack his face with the dagger first, I think. Justice is mine. Alright, so, so far so good. It's not explosive. It's not the hero power one, it's not It's probably like a freeze trap or something. Okay. It could be Misdirection? Whoops. I gotta <laughs> David Ice King here is this one. I, I, I would backstab and then uh it might be um cat trick too. If it's if it doesn't activate when you backstab, you gotta act fast. Okay. You can't just sit down. All right, cool. So yeah, it's, it's not, be it's not cat trick. I I play the gastropod. Okay. It could also be snake. Uh, now here's what you do here. You attack his minion. With Gastro? Yeah, to test to see if it's Snake. Okay, so it's freezing. Uh, if it was Snake, then you could, uh, get a bunch of health from the, um... Oh, right, right, yeah, because that's what... Is that 2-2? Um, one, one, two. I would pro Honestly, I would probably just play the Snail again. Okay. What should I attack? I, I would leave the weapon charge. And just end your turn. Because you, you're either going to, like, refresh the weapon charge next turn or play, like, the Frozen Crusher, I think. Don't. Don't. Why? He gets another Merlin. Oh, okay, he's trying to discover, that's why. It's kind of surprising that he actually has a Murloc for that. I guess it's a great start, but uh, we got some pretty strong cards in this deck. So, Okay, so since we have Medivh now, we're going to want to save that Assassinate to get um, 
a minion from Medivh. So. <laughs> Alright. Frozen Crusher? I, I, no, I wouldn't play Frozen Crusher. Cyclopean. I would actually play the Cyclopean Horror here. And then I could trade into one of those spiders and then dagger? Uh, and then pro probably refresh your dagger. Um, I don't think it's worth it to uh, eviscerate one of those things. Uh, but but now, no, I'm saying, should I just take one out? Yeah, I would take one out and then just refresh your dagger. The the other option, like I'm saying, would be to um, eviscerate one of those minions, but I don't think you have any need mm, to. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, well, I don't know how many more Murloc-type things he would have gotten from that. Well, he could have gotten another one of the Discover Murlocs. Uh, oh, that's actually really unfortunate. Uh, I'm so lucky. So, so lucky. And still probably... Well, hopefully okay. You know, at least he didn't do that to the Frozen Crusher, but, you know, that still crushes me. Yeah. That, that he did that. <laughs> now, now we gotta top deck something good here, hopefully. <laughs> Nah, I think you just play the Frozen Crusher here. Yeah. Interesting. Nah, we're gonna have to hope for a taunt soon. Do I have another taunt? I have you, yeah, you, have, you have a bunch of taunts. You have Sunwalker, oh. you have Defender, and uh... Actually, I think that's it. Oh, we got... We got a bunch of good... Okay, well... We might have to eviscerate that, because yep. we can't leave that alive. Nope. This guy has a pretty strong deck for at zero wins. I let the dogs out. Right. Unfortunately, we can't play Medivh this turn. Yeah. Okay, so... Crusher into the. Hmm. Actually, you know what I think you would, you should do here. Is Shuriken. I think you, no, I think you need to play um, the frost elemental this turn, and you're gonna need to eviscerate something. So I think I would um. I would probably freeze the little flappy bird. Okay. With the uh, frozen crusher, you probably you probably already lost this game to be honest. But uh, all right. So fir first move, what do we? Uh... Uh, I would freeze the the flabby bird. How dare you, flabby bird? And then you can eviscerate the razor maw. No 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 no. I knew that. Eviscerate it. <laughs> I thought you might like eviscerate it like in a general sense. So, like, and then you, like, and then you gotta you gotta trade here. I'm not doing easy one. I'm gonna attack this. Justice is mine. Except he has. Uh, yeah. He has. He's well lethal anyways. Played. So that's literally the only play you had. You already lost this game. This guy had a crazy. Uh, yeah, a pretty strong deck. Like, yeah, like this is what I was saying with the kinds of decks that you would lose against. It's like you just like lose face damage. He got, he got uh, that one out of three poisonous adapt, which is just kind of nuts. And then uh, the fact that he had all the, like all that synergy, the beast and murloc, murloc synergy. Yeah. It wasn't the murloc synergy; it was more the beast synergy that he had. Yeah, it happens. All right. All right. You want to so, go again? You want to stop there? Yeah, we're just gonna stop for the first uh, this first episode. Uh, and then uh, we'll take it up later on. So if you uh, like this video, um, you can click the like button or subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. And we will see you later. Peace.